This is not financial advice. Get a good accountant, get someone who knows more about it and get proper financial advice before you make a decision like that. What's up guys? So today I need to sort out my income report for February. Exciting stuff. Oh, bash my elbow, that hurt. Right guys, so one of the best things I've done is be self-employed. And a lot of my friends ask me about it and like nervously. And I get that because it seems scary to be responsible purely for your income. But if you can get it to work, it is amazing. And on a separate note, I've been doing, I've been having lots of espressos recently. I used to hate coffee. Like when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, I didn't, didn't, early 20s even, didn't like coffee. But you know what, actually, these espresso things, this Nespresso machine to touch, uh, it's really good. It's a really good thing Danny got for me. I'm really happy about it, even though I wouldn't tell her. I wouldn't tell her too often, because she'll get, it'll get in her head. That's not good. So, being self-employed, right, is a bit scary when you first do it, but like I say, if you can get it to work and you can get some income and you're like confident that, and you kind of, you have a way of actually making money and you're not just being self-employed for the sake of it, then it can be a great way of just managing your money and kind of, I love it because I feel like I have much more control over my, my money. So for example, if I need to like, increase my income for me i'm just in my head i'm just like i need to get another client if i get another client then i've got to get more money whereas if you just have like a normal job uh like you work for someone else generally your salary is basically fixed or is hourly and so the only way you can increase your income is by doing more work or waiting for the opportunity to have like a race neither of those are ideal choices to make so being self-employed means you i actually have the option of increasing my income yeah it's not guaranteed but i also believe in what i do and how i can help people and so i'm not really worried about like in my head i'm just like i need to get a new client it's that simple i need a new client i get a new client and i have more money and then boom that's cool and so i've applied that i applied that when I first started working full time at the gym. I applied it when me and Danny moved into this flat. Yeah, and all through lockdown <laughs> even. And um, when, when the gyms opened up again briefly and when they then closed up again, like in my head, I'm just need, I just, just need to get another client. I get one more client and I'm cool. Or I'm, I'm expected to make this much. Like if I get one more client or two more clients, or if I sort out something like this, then, uh, then I'm good. And having that flexibility is really, really cool. But that, that's not the, that's not the bonus of being self-employed. Let me explain. What are you asking? If your bottle sounds like mine. No, it doesn't. It sounds different. Like how? Mine sounds like this. My amor, everything is all the down. I should have bought when you said. We had our 30% retrace. Does it come back up again? Yeah. But it's like you don't trust me. But Reese, but I was doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> Did he miss out on the dip? Yes, like massively. <laughs> Wait, it wasn't that bad, was it? What's that, Bitcoin? 33.6. Yes. It went low, didn't it? It went oh, to only 32, 32 and a half. And a half. It's only a grand, what's that? 5%, 1%. Loads. Guys, the secret to investing in crypto is buying the dip. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, when, when you give people, when you give people secrets hidden hidden secrets that other people don't other people don't get these tips you know and when I you give them that. it sounds like insider trading jesus you just need to have a very good guess very good guess Bye. so the best thing about being self-employed is business expenses so we just got a nice little delivery i'm gonna pop this open Nice. Freebies. 
banging Amiga 3s. Love a bit of that. What's this? That's for Dan. Essential amino acids, really, really important guys. Zero calories in there, which is fantastic. Warm patch for Danny, creatine. Really good supplements you should be taking. Absolutely amazing, both of these. Oh, and obviously this. Trust me, I'm a coach. So my point is that anything like these that I buy are business expenses because I use them for my clients, I give stuff to my clients, and I use them for myself to help further my career, which means that they can then be claimed as business expenses. The same with any trainers, um, fitness clothes like these, Squat Wolf joggers, you can get discount on your Squat Wolf downstairs, so check that out. Anything like that that is for my fitness business, I can claim as an expense. And the way that works being self-employed is it's basically deducted off your income, off your total income, when it comes to filing your, um, your income report and your taxes for the end of year. Any fitness stuff I buy, any gym equipment, any um, clothing I, I buy for the gym or for, for my work, like I, always, I say for the gym, but like it's my job, then that becomes tax deductible. The same goes for the camera because I use that for making videos for my business um, and, and anything else like that that I can, that I, I buy for use with my business then becomes tax deductible. Well, not tax deductible, but income deductible. And so at the end of the year or every month I've been doing is I round up all of my business expenses and I just record it so that I have everything there. And then when it comes to filing my taxes and my income at the end of the year, it's super, super easy. I've got everything there. I've got my income on a monthly breakdown. And yeah, it seems like a lot of work, but it's worth it because if I make, <clears throat> if I make, I don't know, just say 20 grand and my expenses, so all my business spending totals to 10 grand, then I only get taxed on 10 grand worth of income. Yeah, that's right. If I was working a job where I was employed, then that wouldn't matter. Any expenses, any stuff that I buy for my work, um, they're, they're not, it's not income deductible, it's not tax deductible. Yeah, so it would just be stuff I spend my money on. Now, you wouldn't think like I'm still spending my money on these things. It's not like I'm getting them for free, but what it does mean is that I pay less tax. So these are basically tax write-offs. I don't pay tax on them. And they mean that I pay less tax um, because all of this money isn't money that I'm spending on myself. It's not money that I'm enjoying going on holiday or paying my rent or food or anything like that. It's money that I'm reinvesting back into my business. And so that, is one of the best things, well, that's the best thing in my opinion of being self-employed, is being able to actually write off stuff that you buy for your work as a business expense and then pay less tax based on that. <laughs> Amazing. Now guys, it actually gets a little bit better than that because I have multiple businesses, I've got multiple income streams, and so I have expenses for one business, and then I have different expenses for another business. So because I'm making money in different ways, I'm operating, being self-employed, I'm operating as multiple businesses, so that I have multiple streams of income and multiple streams of expenses as well, meaning that I'm able to claim even more um, things that I'm spending my money on as business expenses. and. This is the advantage of being your own business. Like, so instead of setting up your own company, the problem with setting up your own company is you have your company um, filed as, uh, it's basically a company under one industry or under one or two industries. So there are only certain things that you can do um, with that business. So for example, it might be a fitness or a gym, or it might be a consulting company. Now. If you have it as a company, then those they work differently. But if you're just self-employed, operating as multiple businesses, then they you can basically do anything that you can for money, and then you can use any income you get as separate businesses to be able to a claim separate expenses for them, and also have different um, not be limited by certain ways of making money, which you are if you have a company if you're operating under a company. I might have got that wrong. This is not financial advice, <laughs> but this is, my, this is my understanding of how these things work and how I operate based on that. So 
self-employment for the win. Let's smash this out. First impressions. A bit bitter, but all right. Guys, for me, being self-employed means that I can basically have multiple streams of income with different expenses in different industries and make money in as many possible ways as I can. I can do all this without losing out on or having to pay more tax or other fees in other ways just based on having multiple streams of income or working in different industries. Uh, it's not for everyone. Having to work for yourself is not always the best solution for you and I certainly wouldn't recommend it to everyone. But if you have ways of making money in different industries and you think you can take that leap, then I'd highly recommend it. Uh, but get a good accountant, get someone who knows more about it and get proper financial advice before you make a decision like that. Don't just go off what I've said, um, but that's my perspective on it and that's why I choose to, to operate in this way. Yeah, guys, that's it for uh, this episode. As always, just give us a like and subscribe for more and I'll catch up with you in the next one.